YouTube friends. This is just a quick video um, to show you. Oh, and there she goes. There she is. To show you what I'm just doing on the back design wall here. You've seen this many times. This is Agnes's quilt. And this is, this bit here is all sewn together. And this bit over here is the bit that I've been designing. But I want it off there. So I'm making a temporary uh, design board that I can cart around. And um, so I've got this piece of polystyrene, which is, I, th I haven't measured it, but I think it's probably exactly the right size. Look at that, perfect. It's perfectly the right size for what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to cover over the polystyrene part with just this, this isn't very wonderful fabric. And also it's exactly the right size as well. So that's good. I mean, if I was, if I could be bothered, I'd iron this, but it's just a very, very temporary thing. So I'm not going to iron it or cut it to size or anything, uh, because all I want to do really is take all of that off the board because they're all just there as individual hexagons. You can see that, but they're all designed. And so I want to take them off so that I can have them next to me when I'm stitching in the evening, say, and um, free up my design board. That's really why I'm doing this, because I've got a project in my head that I can't do because I've got no space on the board. So uh, once these are sewn together, I'll just get this bit of fabric off again and use it for something else. OK, so it's really simple. People ask me about my design board all the time. The, the real one that stays up there all the time is covered in um, curtain lining fabric. It's called Bump in the UK. I don't know what it's called elsewhere, but it's, uh, it's what they use for lining curtains. It's a little bit like uh, wadding, but I would never use it as wadding. And it's furry so that the fabric sticks to it. This isn't furry. This is just um, a bit scrap fabric, really. I wonder if you remember me making those eco bags. Um, this is the fabric I use for that. And the, the reason why I use polystyrene like this is that the pins go in really, really easily. So, of course, that's how I put the fabric on. I just pin it on. It's a little bit too big. If this was a permanent design board, I'd cut it a bit, but I don't need to. So I'm just going to just tuck it in. It's a bit like wrapping a present. And then I can put all of the... Um, the hexing as I've already done on here and then have an empty design board. There are things happening guys I can't do any of them because there's no space on the board. Okay I'm just going to get on and do this then. You can't see can you? I'll tip you down a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. It's really easy so I'm just doing a, like hospital corners <laughs> and then a pin and I put the pin in long ways like so so that it doesn't come out the other side and cause a problem when I'm sewing. Right, so I'm just going to get on and do this, guys. OK, that's perfect. So I'm going to move the camera in a bit now uh, while I transfer all those pieces across. But before I do that, I'll take a photograph of it so that I know which which side is up, which side is down, all of that. So that's all stuck on there. You can see it's not straight and there's gaps here. And that's because I've run out of really decent greens. So in my box here, where all the pieces are, I've got a lot of blues, but not so very many greens. So I've ordered some green fabric <laughs> and I'm on the lookout searching through all my bits and pieces of fabric uh, to find some more blues. 
uh, greens, sorry, so that this green here, I, I put it all up um, oh, a week or so back and it was just too blue down here. So I took it all off. That's what's so brilliant about the design board. And even as I've been transferring it across, I've seen the sum that I don't like very much, but that's pretty much how, and you can see, look, there's some new greens need to come in here. But that's okay, I can be sewing these up um, now that it's off the design board. I can just uh, uh, put, uh, uh, transport it around. And this is now portable completely. So this can come off the board. But before I do that, I'm just going to write a little ticket up there. I'll do it now. I'm going to write, uh, I'm just going to write top, I think. And if I pin it in that corner there, and I write another one and pin it here, I'll know that that goes to that. So even if this gets upside down or when I take this off the board, this gets upside down. They'll, and I've photographed it as well. Very belt and braces. OK, so that's um, that's now my bit of portable sewing and I've got my board back. Very good. Please with that. It's Saturday here, um, a rainy uh, August day, of course. Uh, and um, I just wanted to pop here and tell you uh, that I'm feeling pretty well. I'm really pleased with the amount of time I took to um, sleep, eat well, recover, rest, uh, you know, close everything down. Because I think if I'd pushed on and forced my way through, carrying on, you know, making content, editing videos. I, I think some of you people who watch here have a YouTube channel. And, and uh, for those of you who don't, let me explain. There's a lot more goes on than just me sitting here, turn the camera on and wishing away. It's it's actually a lot more complicated than that. It's, it's good complicated. It's work I like doing. It's not work. It's stuff I like doing. But it does involve... Um, quite a bit more behind the scenes stuff. And then when the thing is posted and it goes out to you lovely people, uh, then, uh, I mean, some of the the videos that I put up for you, uh, it, they really just uh, touch a nerve with you all, I think. They really touch a spot. And, and there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments and I can't keep up with them all, guys. Uh, and if, you know, when I post to Instagram, hundreds of comments uh, there's, and, and, you know, the shop, generates comments and so I simply can't keep up with them all so I'm sorry if you feel like I'm ignoring you I'm really not I'm really not but part of my stepping back and letting go of everything that uh, made me um, tired gave me extra to do has really meant that uh, I've, I've given myself the time to properly heal uh, I mean I'm making a big deal out of this I feel fine now I really do uh, I wake up in the morning refreshed. Uh, I don't need a sleep in the afternoon unless I really want one, you know, but I was needing two hours and then going to bed at eight o'clock in the evening. Uh, none of that. Uh, I'm still um, looking after myself really well, but uh, I feel very much now that uh, the energy is starting to return. So I've lost a few weeks in the summer there, which is a nuisance, but uh, I'm back on track now. But I, I did want to say before I move on from that, Sometimes I'll watch a YouTube channel and they'll say, thank you to my supporters. I've got the best supporters on YouTube. No, you haven't. I have. I have the best, the best, best, best followers on YouTube. I really do. And um, so lovely little things you know, like the beautiful comments and like the, the, the heartfelt wishes. But also sometimes, even though I've asked people not to send me things, things are arriving again, wishing me well. And I thank you for those. But the other day, and I'm just going to mention one person who sent me an email. I mean, it was quite complicated how she sent it to me because uh, it actually ended up with Rita um, because it was to do with the um, website. And Rita forwarded it to me. She said, I think you need to read this one, Kate. And, um, and I did. And it was lovely. And who um, loves to do all the same kind of things that I do. But she also plays the harp. And she calls it uh, a therapeutic harp playing. And she invited me to listen to this piece of music and sit and relax and breathe deeply and just um, 
it's, you know, just tune into the music and not do anything else. I wrote back to her straight away and thanked her and asked her if I could play it for you guys because it's absolutely beautiful. So at the end of this video, I'm going to play that piece of music for you. I'm going to leave a link to, well, not a link because she hasn't got a website, but I'm going to leave her name in the uh, description box below so that you know who she is. And, um, and what I'm going to do then, is I'm just going to put some beautiful images together um, or you can just close your eyes and just listen to this piece of music that was sent to me as a the most beautiful healing gift. I mean, isn't that lovely? I definitely do have the best followers on the whole of the internet. You're all really amazing. The lime green sofa down there. I can see it. You're all still there. I mean, I mean, I guess some of you got off to go and, you know, sort of do some of your own things. But there's plenty of people on the lime green sofa. And those are the people who've subscribed to the channel. And the subscriber numbers while I've been away have just been very slowly climbing up. So if you want to join us all on the lime green sofa, subscribe, press the notifications bell. Uh, so you'll never miss when I do post because the posting has been erratic but I'm going to get back into a rhythm of posting again because that's what I really want to do. Uh, I really do. And so um, I'm going to put some lovely images together here. Last night there was a beautiful sunset uh, just out here. I put a picture on Instagram. So if anybody follows me over on Instagram you'll have seen the picture of the sunset last night. It was gorgeous. So I'm going to Put some images like that together so there won't be anything else at the end of this, just that. So if you wanted, like she invited me, just to sit quietly and uh, close your eyes if you want to and just breathe and just allow for some beautiful relaxing time. How wonderful is that? I'll be back soon.